I am so excited to share with you this Valentine treat. I will link the recipe in the description box below. This is your clean dairy-free cream cheese. And I recently found this one at Aldi for the first time. I was super excited. Now you can use the sweetener that you can find at Walmart with erythritol and stevia or erythritol and monk fruit. That would be fine too. This dried red bean powder is something you might have to get online. It might be a specialty item, but it really makes this uh, color pop and is velvety inside when you take a bite. I just love that. I absolutely love how easy and quick these are to throw together into your one bowl and mix them up and you have a decadent yummy dessert um, especially fitting for this time of year around Valentine's Day. You could put in protein powder of your choice into this recipe in place of the Trim Healthy Mama baking blend just to boost these decadent yummy treats with some added protein. Or if you just want it to be more of a no specialty ingredient type of a recipe, you could just use all almond flour here. I found that by mixing it by hand, it really helped to mix that red beet powder in really evenly. So you get that evenly distributed, lovely red color all throughout your dough. This is where I make this recipe a little bit more budget friendly, and that is by using these chocolates that I get from Aldi. I use them all the time. Using them in small amounts is okay. One bar like this has three grams of sugar. So when you chop them up, you're only having little bits at a time, and I wouldn't recommend per se sitting and having several bars in one setting, especially if you're really, really trying to lose weight. But these are a great budget-friendly option that tastes lovely lovely. Now it does say it may contain trace amounts of milk. So if you're super sensitive to dairy, these might not be your option. I will put a picture here of the dairy-free chocolate chips as an option for you if that is you. I have found that the one bar that you saw me chop up is a perfect quantity for this recipe. I made my balls relatively big, I suppose, because these made a baker's dozen for me. I believe the recipe says they make about 16 to 18 balls. For convenience sake, I melted my chocolate in the microwave. And like my mom always taught me, I melt in small increments, starting with 30. And as you get more and more melted, maybe even less than that. And you wanna stop the melting process, even when there are still chunks of chocolate in there, the residual heat will melt the rest of the chocolate. That's much better than overheating. So for covering these, you would want to use sugar-free chocolate chips is my recommendation because if you're using that much of the other bars, then that is quite a bit more of sugar in one setting, which is not weight loss friendly. The original recipe has you cover these in sugar-free white chocolate chips, which looks so pretty and so decadent, but this is your dairy-free option and they are super scrumptious, I promise. As a Trim Healthy Mama coach, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my free Facebook community where I give tips and encouragement. There's accountability and inspiration along your health and wellness journey.